Good morning, America, named Sleeping Bear Dunes National Lakeshore, the most beautiful spot in America. So we're gonna check it out. There's so much to do in and around Sleeping Bear Dunes National Lakeshore, but if you're just visiting for the day, here are four things you must do when visiting the area. Our first stop here today is the seven and a half mile drive through the Pierce Stocking Scenic Drive. Michigan lumberman Pierce Stocking wanted to share the beauty of this area with others. So in the 1960s, he built a road. Along the drive, listen to the free self-guided audio tour and learn about the area's rich history and landscape. So legend has it that a fire broke out in the forest of Wisconsin, pushing a mom and her two cubs to the shoreline of Lake Michigan. The mom swam to shore. She searched for the cubs, looked out on the water, saw them struggling and go underwater. And the mama bear, who wouldn't leave the lake shore in the sand dunes, laid down, went to rest, and the great spirit covered her in the sands. Hence, Sleeping Bear Dunes National Park. So this is definitely the most iconic of the stops we've had so far. You're gonna get epic views of the coast. The water reminds you of the Caribbean. You can go down the sand dune. It's a 450 foot climb back up. This guy here, bad experience. This is a spot out of the ones we've been to. This is the one you have to get to. Does this live up to its reputation of the most beautiful spot in America? I guess you'll have to come here and decide for yourself. The sand dunes that we're enjoying today are actually left behind from the glacial recession. You're gonna do it, right? Well, how about I do part of it and then I come back down and you do the rest of it? <laughs> <laughs> Three minutes up, quick sprint down. Now this is a great place to picnic with family and friends, but there is one thing to keep in mind. You can't go on here, I'm sorry, no pets allowed. Fair enough, pet them human. So after the climb, you can head on over here to the Dune Center and pick up a souvenir to commemorate your accomplishments. The town was actually founded in 1857 and named Sleeping Bearville. In 1983, Glen Haven was put on the National Registrar of Historic Places. There is a cannery museum, blacksmith shop, general store. And then you have the lake right here. So explore the town, enjoy the beach, and if you have time, come back for sunset. We tried to do a little hiking area to go out and watch the sunset, but most of the hiking trails here in Sleeping Bear Dunes area are not dog friendly. So we're watching the sunset here at the beach in Glen Haven. Glen Arbor may be a small town, but it's big on Midwestern hospitality and celebrates all things local like Art's Tavern, which has been serving delicious bar food since 1934. The guy at the door said that they're known for their burgers. Yeah. Uh, what are you gonna get? Fish. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So American. And Michigan's own Cherry Republic. Michigan is the tart cherry capital of the world. 75% of Michigan's cherries are produced right here in the Lulinal region. The idea for Cherry Republic began in 1989 with a t-shirt followed by a cherry-inspired cookie. And now, nearly 30 years later, they have six stores with over 200 cherry-based products. Summer sausage with dried cherries, mm -hmm. cherry mustard, cherry horseradish, cherry gorgonzola salad dressing, white chocolate cherry peanut butter, cherry chocolate fudge. That's what I'm talking about. Jen, Jen, we don't have the money for this. <laughs> Jen, put it down. Put it down. Oh, and they also make cherry wine. We're at Cherry Republic, the winery, and you're welcome to taste five tastes complimentary. This is the premium hard cherry cider loaded lug made with Michigan tart cherries. Look at this color. Look at that. And this is it going down the old gullet. 
Make some space in your car because you're going to walk away with a lot of tasty treats. My purse is loaded. <laughs> I paid for and she, it all. She paid, paid for, for it. it all. That's why she's walking so fast. She's got to get out of here before the cops get called. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Thanks for watching. That does it with our time here in Sleeping Bear Dunes National Lakeshore. Most beautiful place in America? I might have to agree. If you've been to Sleeping Bear Dunes area and you have other ideas for things that people should do while they're here, leave those in the comment section below. And just remember, keep, keep finding, finding ways, ways to, to travel, travel smarter. smarter. Wine for the tall, pop for the small. <laughs> <laughs> pop and wine tasting. Mm. Pop. Michigan's a pop sit state, huh? Pop state. They don't talk that soda business. Soda. That's blasphemy here. <laughs>